Hi, George is here and today I would like to talk to you about content management in portals. We have a few options out of the box. If we want to modify an existing piece of information, we can switch to the portal studio, find the page and modify the content directly within that page. And as we refresh the page, the content changes. Unfortunately, there is no approval process that we can apply to that. Well, we can change the publishing state of the page to draft. Then we can show this page to authorize people and uh, move through approval process and uh, approve the content before publishing. Unfortunately, once we do that, visitors to the site are faced with the authentication prompt because they're not authorized to access draft content. So what do we do here? The trick is to use the portal language feature, which allows us to define any new language in addition to those that come with Dynamics 365 and Common Data Service. So let's go ahead and define a language called English Draft. And display name could be anything you want. It could be Borg Borg. We assign it to 1033, which is a code for US English in Dynamics 365 and .NET, and we assign the code EN-Draft. This code will be visible in the URL of the portal pages when we switch to that language. So now let's go ahead to the site itself, add the new website language, and use the publishing state draft, meaning that this language will not be visible to non-authorized users. What does it do out of the box? It copies the content across from all the existing pages to the new pages in this new Borg Borg language. Those pages will be published, or they rather follow the state of the existing pages. So what we want, we want to flip all those pages to draft. So we go ahead, go to the language, display all the related pages in that language, do the bulk edit, change the publishing state to draft and apply the change. So that flips all the pages to draft. So now every single page on our site will have an additional page in the draft state in that Borg Borg language. Anonymous visitors to the site will still see just one language and one content that is currently published. Let's grant permission to reviewers to modify that content. Let's go ahead and add a new web role called reviewer and then add a new website access permission that grants users preview privileges and associate that privilege with reviewer role. And then let's go ahead and sign in as one of the users who has this role assigned to them. So once they sign in, the Borg Borg language becomes visible to them. So they can kind of flip between the languages and using different URLs and see different content. Now let's go ahead and modify that content. So we go ahead, we can see two languages. We go ahead and modify the draft content. We put something a little bit more interesting that just sample page. I use uh, one of my favorite lorem ipsum generators called bacon ipsum. It's nice, it's tasty. So we just grab one paragraph of that pre-generated text, paste it there, save it. So now we have two pages. When we switch to that Borg Borg language, the previewer can now see the updated content. If we sign out, we cannot access that content and we're prompted to sign in. There's more to that. We can modify pages. We can modify the navigation itself because the web link sets that define the navigation they are language specific. So we can go ahead and modify one of the menu items in Borg Borg language, sign in as a reviewer, and now we will have a different menu item associated with that new page. So once we go through all the process of modifying, approving uh, the content, how we go about the publishing. So effectively, we need to swap these two pages. What we want to do is to swap the status of the pages as well as the language of the pages. And we do it with the Power Automate flow that we'll dive into it in a second that just swaps these values for these pages. And once we run that flow, we have a production website, 
with the new content published. For those of you who are familiar with the staging sites, that works exactly like that. We have a staging language that we can swap in and out as we need to. Uh, we can do more. We can run this for the entire site and swap the entire site in and out. Uh, the Power Automate will become a little bit more complicated, but it's still doable. So what we do in this Power Automate flow, we trigger it on the record selected, then we select the child content records. So we have a flag is root equal false, meaning it's the content and we just select the child pages of the current page. And then we do two updates. Why two? Because we just swap in two languages. In production, you would want to be a bit more careful about what we are updating. For now, we just taking the record zero out of the returned result set and assign the values from the first record. And in the second update, we do just the opposite. We take the first record and we swap it with the index zero. So that effectively swaps the publishing state and website language. And what's important, it does it inside the change set request. So it does it as a transaction. So it either happens for both records or for none at all. So the record is guaranteed to be published. So let's walk through the publishing cycle again. So we have the page that we go ahead in a draft state. We modify the content. We can modify any content. We can modify title of the page. We can go ahead and modify HTML. We can insert uh, a more appropriate image for the new content. And then we go ahead and run that flow to swap the records. And once the flow is run, all we need to do is to wait a little bit, press refresh button, and kaboom, the fresh and juicy content is right there. Thank you for watching and keep enabling.